McLean was sentenced in the Invercargill High Court today to life in prison with a minimum non-parole period of 17 years. He pleaded guilty last week to murdering his estranged wife, Verity McLean, and attempting to murder the man she had moved in with, Gary Duggan. A victim impact statement read by Duggan support person Michael Laws told of the physical and emotional damage caused by the attack, leaving Duggan serving his own life sentence. In McLean's own tearful statement, he said he would forever regret the suffering his actions had caused his children and that Verity was the love of his life, who broke his heart and soul. Following the sentencing, Verity's father, Bob Barber, read a statement outside of court, calling McLean's crimes cowardly, callous and brutal. Justice has been served. Ben has now got 17 years to think about what he has done. He said he had lost the love of his life in court. He didn't lose her, he executed her. His only regret has been getting caught and not finishing out what he set out to do. Laws, speaking for Duggan, described Verity, or Bert as he called her, as a loving, kind and compassionate woman. Ben McLean decided that his hate, his anger and his perverted sense of wrong was more important than everyone else, including his police oath, his community, his family and most importantly his children. The McLean and Barber families have requested privacy, but thanked those who have offered support during their tragic time. I'm Sharon Rees for The South Today.